The consolidated data feature in Excel is a lot like using the sum function, except the major difference is, is that with the consolidated feature you can summarize data from several different ranges at the same time and put it all into a single range. For example, I have a range here of all the quantities that I want to keep track of throughout 2005 from each employee. Down below I've got the employee.warners workbook open and you can see all the sales that she made here, the quantities for each product and also Bill Moitner. In fact, let me come up here, click on the View tab, go to the Windows group and click on Arrange All. Tiled, click OK so we can see all the workbooks at the same time. And what's important when it comes to using the consolidated feature is that when you want to consolidate all separate ranges into one range, they all have to have the same range layout. In other words, when you look in here for the quantity of cells, it goes from C5 down to C12. It needs to be the same in all other workbooks if I want to be able to add up their ranges as well. It needs to be in the same range, C5. So if I come over here, quantity again, C5 through C12, and so it is for the rest of the employees here. Because on a mass production scale, the consolidated feature isn't going to look in separate different cells. Like let's say double bubble in Mr. Humphreys was now in C14, and then maybe over here in Lizzie McGuire was in D3. It's not going to work. It has to be the same range for each workbook in this case to be able to consolidate it into the same range in my consolidated workbook here to get my totals. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this workbook here. And what I want to do to get started is come up here and click on the Data tab, go to the Data Tools group, and click on the Consolidate button. The function here is the sum function. Of course, I could change that. But I want to be able to sum up or add up all the products that each employee has, or the quantity of each of the products, all into one range here, into my consolidated workbook. So I'll leave that alone. Now it wants me to choose the references. Well, the first reference is going to be, let's say, down below here is Dot Warner. So I'll click on the collapsible dialog box button, come down here to Dot Warner, and it's got to be the same range here. So it's going to go ahead and look through and add up C5 through C12. Hit Enter on the keyboard to pop the window back open. Click Add. There's my first range. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the collapsible dialog box button again, go down to the next employee, click and drag and select the range, hit Enter, pops it open, click Add, and you'll just keep doing that until you get all of them here. Click on the dialog box button to collapse it, go to Homer, Range, Enter, Add, Collapse, Lizzie, click and drag Range, hit the Enter key, Add, finally collapse that, go to Mr. Humphreys, click and drag, hit Enter, click Add, and then when I'm finished, I can also check the box here to create links to the source data. So that way, if anybody makes changes within their quantity workbooks, like Mr. Humphrey updates his, Maybe for double bubble it changes. Because it's linked, it'll actually update my quantity here. When I'm finished, just go ahead and click OK, and it's done. Now, in addition to actually giving me the totals for everybody's workbook for all the quantities they have in cell C5, and you can see, or at least appreciate now, why that double bubble and all the other workbooks had to be in the same cell C5. Because it's looking and summing up, as you can see up here, the range, cell C5 through C9. Now, why is it C5 through C9? We see over here the different levels 1 and 2. It actually will keep track and it breaks out each individual person's quantity of sales by clicking on the expandable plus button here. So there's the total for everybody and 214. Who had 214? Well, all you have to do is click in the cell and look up in the formula bar and it's coming from Mr. Humphrey's workbook. Come over here, who made one cell, Mr. Simpson's workbook, and so on. So not only do I get the consolidated sum here for all the workbooks within this range, but I also get it broken down when I go ahead and I expand the group here. I can also click on the minus sign to collapse it, or click on level 2 to expand all of them, and then I can just come down here and click and break down the total sales for each product here by employee. Well, number one employee for the total sales of Nerd Ropes, it looks like, is 328, and that's Dot Warner. At least that's the name of the workbook that this number is being pulled from. And we can just go ahead and click on the level 1 to hide all the data and just give us the totals for all the workbooks. And like I said, because it's linked, if I make any changes in the other workbooks, so remember this is 217, if I go to Dot Warner, let's say 200, hit Enter, go back to the consolidated workbook, and it goes from 217 to 417. So it is linked and it will update. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.